so much for joining me today. It's wonderful to be here with you all. All right, so we're going to do some chair yoga today. So hopefully you've got a chair, right? You're seated on your chair. And just know that these stretches are, they're good for anybody and they're also good for any time. So if you find yourself kind of doing a certain stretch today and you're like, wow, that feels good. Maybe it's something that you can remember and maybe you can do that even when you're just kind of sitting on the couch or whenever, you know, and, and um, just to know that when you take this time for yourself and really yeah. kind of cultivating your own health and well-being, it has a lasting effect even just beyond how you feel during and right after your class. So I want to thank you for taking this time for yourselves today. And again, my name is Gloria. I'm a yoga teacher and meditation instructor here with Lee Health. So thank you so much for joining me. All right, everyone. So I invite you to find your comfortable seated position, finding a chair, and you want to just start by relaxing into the back of the chair here, resting the palms facing up or down, whichever feels right for you right now. And now beginning to allow the spine to relax into the chair, and we'll just take a moment here to close the eyes if that's comfortable for you. And as you close the eyes, we'll start to bring the focus to your natural breathing. Without changing the breath at first, we'll start by just noticing as the breath comes in and goes out. Maybe taking this moment to notice any sounds you may hear. Feeling the chair beneath you. Noticing any thoughts or ideas in your mind. Taking this time to acknowledge the thought and bring yourself back to the present moment, back to the breath. And then now we'll deepen the breath as you inhale, expand all the way to the belly. And exhale, letting all the breath out. Long breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And one more here at your pace. Deep breath. Good. And then just relax into the chair once again. Feel the effect of those deep breaths on your body, on your mind. Very good. And now we're going to start rubbing the hands together in front of the heart. Now, as you begin to rub your hands together, this helps you to activate the nerve endings on the hands helps us to feel centered and focused and ready to begin our practice today. Good. And let's inhale deeply now, pressing the thumbs in towards the heart. And a full breath out. One more long centering breath in here. And out. And now I invite you to keep your hands here at the heart center. Sometimes in yoga, we use a sound in order to create a vibration, to create a feeling within us that helps us really tune into the present moment. So that's what we're going to do right now. We'll use the sound O-N-G, ong. Okay, so it's like om. You've probably heard that one before, but this one is O-N-G. And it'll sound like this, ong. Okay, and when we make that sound, just helps us really tune into the present moment, setting everything else aside so you can just be here now. All right, so we'll just make that sound one time together. And let's start by inhaling deeply to begin. Um. And inhale. Exhale, relax the hands down. Notice any effects from the sound. Maybe feeling a little more clear and centered. Very good. And now we're ready to begin our warm up for today. So we'll start by scooting towards the center of the chair and we'll bring the knees out a little bit wider, keeping a firm grip on the floor. Good. And we'll place those hands towards the knees. The spine is nice and straight. And now as you inhale, start to make circles, bringing the torso forward and to the left, and then exhale to the back and around. Good. And moving with long, deep breaths, breathing through your nose, inhaling, 
as the torso comes forward, exhaling to the back and around. These nice wide circles are helpful for helping us to relieve any stress or muscle tension held in the lower back and the hips, especially if we've been sitting for any period of time. It just helps to increase circulation, blood flow to the base of the spine. A couple more deep breaths here. Good, and let's inhale now as you rise all the way up to center. Full breath in and exhale, relax. Good, and then we'll do the other direction. So inhaling forward and to your right, exhaling to the back and around. And again, taking this at your own pace, remember throughout class today to just really make this your own practice, allowing the breath to guide your movement. And as well, feel free to close the eyes at any point as you settle into an exercise. By closing our eyes and bringing the gaze inward and upward to the brow center, we help to initiate the body's relaxation response, moving into a more peaceful, restorative mode. Continue to focus on those long, deep breaths. Just a few more here. And little by little, rising up now, deep breath in, rise up, 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 hold and exhale, relax. Nice job. Next, we'll bring the feet back into hip width distance apart. Keeping those hands towards the knees, spine nice and straight. And now as you inhale, press the heart forward. Exhale, round the spine back. So this is called spinal flex. Inhaling deeply as you open the heart, exhaling completely as you round. See if you can feel this stretch in every part of your back, throughout the spine, really just feeling into that nice stretch. Take your time. Let the breath be long and deep. And perhaps you can imagine this movement originating at the base of your spine and the rest of your spine moving along like a wave. Opening the heart as you inhale, rounding the spine as you exhale. Just a couple more. And next deep breath in, stretch up, reach the spine up. Exhale, let it go, relax. Very nice. Okay, now when you're ready, we'll bring the hands onto the shoulders, fingers in the front, thumbs in the back. Spine nice and straight at center. If for any reason this was too much for the shoulders, you could always relax the biceps down by the ribs, okay? So from center here, as you inhale, gently twist to your left, exhale, gently to your right. So this can be a nice subtle movement. Doesn't have to be drastic, but continue to listen to your body and just follow the breath, inhaling to your left, exhaling to your right. Feeling into the nice twist throughout your spine, from your tailbone to the shoulders. Keep breathing long and deep. And remember, you can always take breaks. You can lower the arms at any point. It's really important to listen to the body. Continue to focus your gaze in and up to the brow center if that's comfortable. When we bring our focus to this place of cognition and awareness, 
we start to switch out of the fight or flight response and into relaxation where we have an opportunity to heal and grow. Great job. Now when you're ready, inhale, stretching up to center. And exhale, let it go, relax the arms down. Maybe wiggle out the arms here if you like. You can make some circles with the shoulders, just letting go of any tension that may have risen to the surface there. And then we'll place the palms facing down onto the thighs. Check in with your nice straight spine. As you inhale, bring the shoulders up towards the ears and exhale, relax the shoulders all the way down. Inhaling up, up, up. Exhaling all the way down. Continue with powerful breath through the nose. And then we'll keep going at your pace. Feel free to close the eyes, making this an inward practice. Becoming more familiar with your breath and with your body. Notice how as you move the body in line with the breath, the mind has something to focus on right here in the present moment. Everything else can start to melt away. Every inhale, guiding your focus up. Every exhale, letting something go. Relax a little more. Good, and last one now, deep breath in, squeeze shoulders up, full breath out, relax the shoulders all the way down and rest. Perfect. Just take a moment here, feeling any effect from that exercise. And now we're ready to begin neck rolls, so maintaining this nice upright position. As you inhale, guide the chin to your chest, your right ear toward your right shoulder. Exhale, bring the head gently towards the back of the room and continue. Inhaling slowly, gently bringing the head forward and exhaling towards the back and around. Taking your time here, making these nice, gentle, clockwise circles. Beginning to allow any tension, any stress held in the neck to melt away a little more with every breath. Normal to hear any sounds here in the neck as you move. Just continue to make gentle movements. And now with a full breath in, slowly rise all the way up to center. And exhale, letting go. Good, and we'll do the other side when you're ready. Inhale, chin to chest. Left ear to left shoulder. Exhale gently to the back and around. And keep going, your pace, your breath. Consciously relaxing the neck. This is allowing the circulation, the energy that you've been guiding up through the spine in our warm up today to begin to flow up through the neck into the head and the brain. Bringing the focus to the higher centers of the brain, like the pituitary and the pineal gland. It helps to bring harmony to the entire body and mind. Right here, right now. Just a few more, really savoring this breath. Good. 
And little by little, stretching all the way up. Deep breath in as you rise. Full breath out as you relax. All right, and now I invite you to bring the feet out just a little bit in front, keeping a firm grip on the floor. And as you inhale, we'll stretch the arms all the way up. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, hinge at the hips as you bend forward, bringing the hands towards the shins or the ankles, just finding a comfortable spot for you today. And then I invite you to relax the head and neck forward, letting go as you breathe long and deep. Just starting to feel any tension in the shoulders and the lower back. Letting go. Inhale, now halfway rise up to flat back. And once again, exhale, forward fold. Taking your time to settle in here. And now this time, begin to trace the fingers up the legs as you stack the spine one by one, little by little, until the shoulders rise up towards your ears. Deep breath in. Exhale, the shoulders come down and back and relax. Very nice. Take a moment to check in with yourself. You can always try pressing the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth for a centering effect. And if you'd like, we'll do that one more time. So inhale, stretching up, up, up. Reach up, exhale, forward fold. Finding that comfortable spot. This time, option to plant the heels into the floor and stretch the feet towards the body. If you'd like a little stretch, for the back of the legs, just stretching the feet towards the body there. Good. You can go ahead and relax the feet back down to the floor. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, one last time, forward fold. Really letting go, relax the head and neck. And little by little, begin to rise, tracing the fingers up to the legs. Inhale, shoulders come all the way up to the ears. Exhale, shoulders back and down. And relax the palms facing up in your lap. Take a moment here. Finding center once again. And now I invite you to relax into the back of your chair and bring the hands into heart center. I can see you might have a mic on. If Everyone wouldn't mind making sure they're muted. Thank you so much. So relaxing into the chair now, bringing the hands to heart center. And I invite you to close your eyes and allow an intention to come to mind for your practice today. Something simple, one or two words, your intention for your practice. Whenever you're ready, take a deep breath in. And a full breath out, relaxing the hands down. Very good. Take a moment to check in with yourself, see how you're feeling after our warm up today. So, today's exercise set is called Total Balance. Okay, so that doesn't mean we're going to be standing on one foot or, you know, onto our heads or anything like that today. So, don't worry about that. But what we're really talking about is more so an internal sense of balance, you know, a sense of balance between going and doing and all of that pressure that we tend to put, a, put on ourselves and the balance between that energy and the more restful energy, the more thoughtful and present and mindful energy. Okay, so we've got those two forces. So we're going to be working on balancing those and also the two sides of the body. So you'll notice some of these exercises, we're moving both sides of the body. We're kind of working on that correlation between the sides of the brain, the sides of the body. So it's a really interesting set, and I hope you'll enjoy it. All right, so how we're going to start out today is by lifting up one arm. So whichever arm you choose, if this is comfortable, we'll bring the arm to about that 60-degree angle. The palm is facing up towards the ceiling. 
Okay, and, and we're just working on kind of stretching the wrist there. So that keeping the spine straight, just relax the other hand in your lap. Good, and then we'll really bring the focus to this palm. So working on opening up the hand, keeping it there, I'm just starting my timer here. Keeping that palm nice and flat towards the ceiling. And begin to close your eyes and focus on your breath now. The breath is long and deep through the nose. And you're halfway there now. So continue to just kind of feel into how the body is responding to this activity, how the mind is responding. Sometimes in yoga, we do things that we normally would never think to do. And so it's kind of an interesting experiment to see how the body reacts. Good, and let's take a deep breath in. And exhale as you bring that arm all the way down. Rest the arm, it might feel good to kind of wiggle out the fingers a little bit there. And total balance, so you guessed it, we're gonna do the other side as well. So stretching the other arm out and Again, if there were any reason you didn't want to have the arm elevated, you could always bend the elbow, okay? So just continue to listen to your body and stretching those fingers, palm towards the ceiling. You're welcome to close the eyes, focus on your deep breath. So as you inhale, the belly expands. As you exhale, you squeeze all the breath out using the core on the exhale. So really inhaling to expand. Exhale, all the breath comes out. Almost there now. Recommit to the hands. Noticing how maybe this side might feel a little different than the other one did. Okay, very good. And a deep breath in. And exhale, slowly bring the arm down and relax. Maybe wiggling it out here. Nice job. Take a moment to rest. Okay, and one more with this sequence. We're gonna do both hands. Okay, so here we go. The arms are elevated about 60 degree angle from the body. And it's as though you could be holding up this, this ceiling. The palms are flat. Good. Deep breath. Focusing here on opening up the heart, stretching ourselves, expanding ourselves, strengthen your arms, strengthen your fingers. Last little bit here, showing that stamina and strength. Very good, deep breath in. Hold, stretch, exhale, slowly release, relax the arms down, maybe again wiggle it out here, let it go. You might want to make some circles with the shoulders, backwards and forwards. Good, and then just kind of wiggle out the hands there. Very nice. Okay, so we're, we'll continue kind of working with the hands. And so for this next one, you're welcome to bring the thumbs into the palms and then gently wrap the fingers around. So we're making that kind of closed fist. And we want it to be comfortable, so the thumb is not too far in. It's just at a comfortable pace or stretch there. Okay, and we'll lift the arms up. So the arms are up at about that 60 degree angle again, now out in front. And we're just going to start making circles with the wrists. Very simple, nice, good. And if you can, try to focus on keeping the arms straight and elevated, looks great. And keep your focus on your breath. Again, noticing how the body responds, how the mind might be telling you, this is silly, what are you doing, right? This is is an opportunity to get to know ourselves and see how we respond to different situations. This exercise really helps bring circulation into the wrists if we've been spending time on the computer 
or you know any activity or even writing or when you're just kind of using the hands for an extended period of time it helps to get the circulation flowing all right and then let's stretch the arms out in front and exhale relax relax the arms all the way down or just again wiggle it out you might want to pat the arms here that can help Maybe even pat the legs as well. We don't want to forget about the legs. Looking good. Okay. Next here, what we're going to do is we'll continue that rotating movement. So we'll bring the thumbs back into the fist. And this time, we'll be rotating the shoulders and the wrists. So this is kind of where we get into that coordination thing. We're thinking about moving the wrists, we're thinking about moving the shoulders, and we really want to get into that shoulder girdle and really just creating some movement here and maintaining your deep breath. This is really helping us to get our body's energy flowing. It can be a good thing to do in the morning to increase blood circulation. Good, and just kind of make this movement your own now. Yeah, looks great. Kind of making those circles. You can, if you've been going in one direction, you can try the other direction. Again, we're moving the wrists, we're moving the shoulders. Last little bit here. And all right, and come back to this stance here, this strong stance, deep breath in. And full breath out as you release and relax the arms all the way down. Good. Again, it might feel nice to just wiggle out the shoulders. You can always try a massage yourself. Um, part of what this yoga does is that it brings circulation and it, it, um, it can cause our muscles to respond in a certain way that allows tension and things that have been kind of held inside to rise to the surface, right? And so when, when that little bit of tension in the shoulders rises up, it's an opportunity to kind of release it and let it go. And hopefully you find that you have kind of more flexibility, more lightness in the shoulder area afterward. Okay. So now we're going to stretch the arms out to the side. All right. So try not to knock anything over. <laughs> and just really stretching the arms out, opening the heart, we do want the, the, the head and neck in line with the spine, but we want the heart to be kind of open here, palms facing up, long, deep breath. It's as though someone were gently holding your hand on either side and really just helping you to open up that heart space, focusing on your belly breathing. So as you inhale, expand all the way to the belly. As you exhale, squeeze all the breath out, use the core. Again, inhaling fully, deeply, exhaling completely. You're halfway there. Keep your focus. Remember, this is your practice, so there's no, there's nothing wrong with taking breaks or lowering the arms or even bending the elbows and just keeping the palms facing up. All of that is fair game. So continue listening to your body. A couple more breaths here. Good. One more time. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, wiggle it out and let it go. Very good. Okay. I really like this next exercise because it's kind of a brain game too. So what we want to do here is we'll bring the hands out in front and we'll start with the fingers closed in into fists um, with the thumbs on the outside this time. So as you inhale, we'll stretch number one, we'll put the, the first finger out, and then as you exhale, we'll bring it back in. When you inhale, we'll bring two out, exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, three out, exhale, bring it back in. And then inhale, four, exhale, back in. Inhale, five, exhale, back in. So we'll continue doing that with each of the fingers, right? So starting with the hands closed, Starting with the pointer finger as you inhale, exhale, bring it back in, right? And then just continue following the pace of your breath, feeling into the stretch. Good. 
and make sure you're breathing with it. And we'll just try to do one more round. Good, and now stretching all the fingers out. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, wiggle it out and let it go. All right, nice job. Again, you're welcome to pat the legs here. Just stretching the body forward can feel nice. Great job. Okay. All right, so next, we don't have to lift the arms up for this next one, so that's nice. What we want to do here is place the palms in front of the shoulders. So the palms are facing away from the shoulders, hands are kind of nice and flat, and fingers are strong. And what we're looking for here is a nice open heart. So as you bring the palms in front of the shoulders, try to feel the shoulder blades squeezing back towards each other. The collarbone is out in front, the heart is open. Good. And from here, we'll practice um, a, br a breath we call lion's breath. So we'll be sticking out the tongue. Don't worry, nobody else can hear you, right? So we'll stick out the tongue, and we'll be inhaling and exhaling through an open mouth. Okay, so it'll be like this. And just close your eyes and continue at your own pace, breathing through the mouth with the tongue sticking out. that heart elevated and open, tongue sticking out. It's a powerful cleansing breath as you inhale and exhale through the mouth. Almost there. Making the most of every breath. Last one. Good, and then you can relax the hands down whenever you'd like and rest, closing the mouth, breathing normally through the nose, observe how that exercise makes you feel. It's kind of invigorating. Might help us feel a little lighter, like we're letting go of whatever is no longer serving us. Okay, and we've got another breath exercise here. So this time we can keep the hands relaxed down into the lap. And this is called Sitali Pranayam. So it sounds complicated, but all we have to do is stick the tongue out between the teeth this time. So if you can roll your tongue, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, you can stick the, the tongue in between the teeth like this. And we'll be inhaling over the tongue, then exhaling through the nose. So I'll come close so you can see. So it's like this. Or if you can roll the tongue, it's like this. Inhaling over the tongue, exhaling through the nose. And we'll just keep doing that at your pace with long, deep breaths. Inhaling over the tongue, exhaling through the nose. Feel free to close the eyes. This practice has a cooling effect on the body. It's said to be a purifying breath. Just let the breath be soft and flow naturally. Do one more. As you exhale, closing the mouth, relaxing the body. Noticing any effect, any sensations you feel within you. Okay, and you're welcome to take a break for water at any point. If you've got water nearby, it can be helpful. When we're doing a lot of breath, breathing practices, it's, it's good to kind of keep the body hydrated. 
Well, it always is, so, but especially during yoga. All right, so now when you're ready, we'll bring the feet out a little bit wider. We're seated towards the, about the center of the chair once again. Feet are a little wider than hip width distance apart. Spine is straight. And once again, we'll do that exercise that we started out with today. So those nice circles with the torso, inhaling as you bring the torso forward and to your left, exhaling as you come towards the back and around. Good, so continue your pace, your breath, making these nice circles with the torso. Maybe noticing how this might feel a little different than the first time you practiced it today. You may feel a little more ease to the flow of your movement. Just continue with long, deep breaths here, letting go. Very nice, and now we'll begin to rise all the way up as you inhale fully, and exhale completely relaxed. And then we'll do the other side when you're ready, inhaling the torso coming forward and to the right, exhaling towards the back and around. Long deep breath through your nose. Perhaps noticing if this side feels a little different. Continue to breathe long and deep. As you relax a little more with every breath. Again, this is a really helpful exercise for guiding circulation up from the hips the rest of the body and helps us to let go of any tightness in the lower back. Focusing on that breath, just a couple more. Good, and when you're ready, begin rising all the way up. Inhale more, stretch the spine up. And exhale, relax. Very good. And then we'll bring the feet back into hip width distance apart here. Spine is straight. And from here, we'll bring the hands in front of the shoulders. So the elbows are bent. It's kind of like a puppy dog. Reminds me of a puppy dog. Good. And so we'll keep the fingers pointing downwards. And from here, we'll begin rotating the shoulders forward and up as you inhale, and then backwards and down as you exhale. So we're making these big wide circles with the shoulders, inhaling forward and up, exhaling back and down. Good, and just allowing the hands to hang there. These biceps are next to the ribs throughout this process. Keep moving with deep breaths. Really focusing in, honing in on the space between the shoulders, the muscles surrounding the shoulders. Keeping the breath long and deep. This is really helpful for letting go of tension. We tend to kind of let our stress build up in our shoulders a lot of us. And we don't pay attention to it. We'll get a lot of tension and pain in the shoulders. And so by simply bringing your focus there, by guiding your breath and your movement there, you can really come a long way and letting go, bringing circulation into those areas. Very nice. And with your next inhale, we'll bring the shoulders up to the ears. And we'll exhale, letting go, relax the hands all the way down to the lap and rest. And just noticing, maybe you feel a little bit lighter now. Excellent job. Okay, for our next exercise, I'm gonna turn my chair to the side just so you can see me. And from here, 
Well, kind of use use the back of the chair, right? So um, we want to keep the core engaged here, but we also want the back to be supported. All right. So finding that balance for yourself. If you'd like to engage the core a little more, you can sit towards the center of the chair and have the back resting on the chair, but really using the core, igniting those abdominal muscles. If you'd like a little more support for the back, keep the back into the back of the chair, right? And then just placing the hand next to your sides, wherever's comfortable for you. If, you um, if it's best for the chair that you're in, you can place the hands on the hips as well. So just kind of feel into what feels right. Okay, and from here we'll inhale, lifting one foot up, lifting that leg up, and then exhale, placing the foot gently back down. So this is a really slow and mindful movement, inhaling as you extend the opposite leg, exhale, placing the foot back down. And just continue using your breath, following your own pace, and again, if you want to engage the core more, sit towards the center of the chair, leaning towards the back of the chair as you engage the core. Continue to inhale as you lift the leg, exhale as you lower, and switch, alternating each side with long, deep breaths. These leg lifts are great exercise for the core, they also help us to engage the muscles of the legs, even strengthening the muscles in the back here. Almost there. And for these last few, if you'd like, you can play with lifting both legs at once and exhaling, placing them down. We'll just do two more. And when you're ready, doing that last one, inhale, hold the legs up for a moment, and exhale, relax the legs down. Go ahead and pat the legs out here. Nice job. Stretching forward. It might feel nice to pat the lower back as well. And just make your way back to your easy seated position. Okay. And from here, what we want to do now is bring the hands back behind. Okay. So... The palms are flat, they're facing towards each other, back behind you, and the spine is nice and straight. We'll bring the legs out a little bit wider now. Good. Okay, so the ankles are under the knees, the spine is straight, and the arms are extended back behind. Now from here, what we wanna do is we'll inhale in this position, and we'll exhale as we bring the torso forward, keeping the spine straight, as, as straight as possible. Right, so we'll inhale, lifting the torso up, exhale, bending at, at the hips as you lift the arms up back behind you. Good, so just keep going. Try your best to keep the, the arms parallel to each other. Inhaling as the head rises and exhaling as you bend forward. Again, igniting the core muscles, really using your core. Strengthen your arms. Full deep breaths. Just a few more. And we'll make this the last one as you exhale, bring the arms up as high as is comfortable behind the body and inhale, rise all the way up, let the arms relax, deep breath in and exhale, letting go. Again, pat the legs if you like, finding center. Okay, now this, this is the last exercise of the set now. So finding that easy pose what we want to do here is interlace the fingers, except for the pointer fingers. So the pointer fingers are together, and one thumb is resting over the other, whichever feels comfortable for you. Okay, 
So now what, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch these arms out in front. And it helps to have the shoulder blades relaxed down and back. We want the arms to be nice and straight. And from here, the focus is on really projecting your intention, that thought that you had at the beginning of class of what you'd like your intention to be. You can, you can project that thought forward or anything else that comes to you. So we'll close the eyes now and we'll continue to have that powerful, long, deep breath in and out through the nose. And just focus on projecting your intention out, out into the world, out into infinity, however you'd like to imagine it. Just work on sending that intention out. Just a few more breaths. exercise consolidates your mental projection into a one-pointed positivity towards yourself and your daily tasks. And we'll take one more full inhale. Hold at the top, sending that intention out, and exhale, relax. Great job, relaxing the hands. Again, maybe you'd like to massage the biceps a little, just give yourself some love for doing such a great job today. And now from here, we'll move into deep relaxation. So for deep relaxation, you're welcome to kind of rest the legs out in front, relax the palms facing up or down on the lap. Relaxing the back into the chair as you close your eyes. Fully relax every muscle of the body, the shoulders, the face. Everything can rest now as you allow the benefits of your practice to integrate into body and mind. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Every inhale a little deeper. Every exhale a bit longer. Start to bring tiny movements to the toes and the fingers. Wiggling the toes. Touching the thumb to each fingertip as you deepen the breath. On your next full breath in, stretch the arms up over the head. Stretch from fingers to toes. And exhale, sweep the arms down by the sides, relaxing the legs. 
and we'll slowly start to find that comfortable seated position. Maybe take a moment once again to pat the legs. Good, and then rising back to seated. And we'll take a moment here to cross the right leg over the left. So you can do the ankle as well if that's more comfortable or you can cross at the knee. And we'll inhale here at center, spine nice and straight. Exhale for a gentle twist, turning towards your left side. And then slowly return, relaxing the leg down and we'll switch sides. So again, crossing that left ankle or knee. Inhale nice and straight. Exhale, gentle twist over to your right side. And slowly return, relax both legs down. Once again, pat the legs out. Good. And now we'll take a moment to make circles with the ankles and the wrists in one direction and the other. Good. And then we'll bring the palms of the hands together again. You can even bring the soles of the feet together if you'd like and create some friction. Energizing the body. Good. And deep breath in now. Thumbs come into the heart. And exhale, relax. Good. Taking your time. So once again, we'll find this meditative posture. So we have a few moments for meditation here. This meditation is called the caliber of life meditation. And so what the intention of this is, is to really kind of get us, get our, our internal stamina. So beyond just our strengths and our physical stamina, which you all showed today, we have this deeper sense of being able to kind of get through the storms, right? We can weather the storms. And, um, and we work on that, we develop that by, um, by tapping into our core strength. And not just our physical core, but kind of really deep into, into ourselves, right? So um, for this meditation, we'll bring the hands into fists just by curling the fingers in. And it's like thumbs up and then the, the hands come together. So the thumbs are out in front next to each other. And it's kind of like looking through a sight here. So you're welcome to keep your intention in mind or just kind of anything that that comes to you that you want to be powerfully um, having your one focused pointed attention toward, right? And this breath for this exercise, we're doing a breathing pattern where you can relax the arms as I explain. The inhale is for about three or four counts. So just inhaling through your nose as you count to three or four. And then it will exhale for three or four. And then we'll hold the breath out for up to eight, okay? So doing this at your own pace and um, only, you know, to where your body feels comfortable. But the point of it is to kind of experience what it's like to be holding the breath out and to have, when when our body experiences that, it kind of refocuses and recenters our resources, right? So for example, if we're having a lot of racing thoughts, if we take a, a, a full breath in, a full breath out, and then hold the breath out, that pause, it creates a pause. And during that pause, the body and the mind focus back into this, this present moment and what's really important right now. All right, so that's kind of the general idea. So again, we'll bring the fists together, thumbs up, thumbs are next to each other, gazing in between where, you, where the thumbs meet, good. And now beginning that breath pattern. So inhaling for about four counts, Exhaling about four counts, holding the breath out for up to eight counts. And then continue at your pace, inhaling about four, exhaling about four, holding out up to eight. doing your best. You're already halfway there. Remembering that word, that intention that you set. Or maybe you're having another one come to your mind now. Just 
really working on developing that capacity for strength. Stamina. Last little bit. Great job. When you're ready, take a full breath in. And now as you exhale, relax the hands all the way down. Great job. Very nice. And just relax. Closing the eyes, take a moment to give yourself some gratitude for taking this time for you today, cultivating your health and well-being. Good. And now we're ready to begin our closing. So one last time, we'll rub the hands together in front of the heart. And again, you're welcome to bring to mind that intention, acknowledging everything that you've done to make it to the end of class today. And now as you inhale, deeply press the thumbs into the heart, breathing in that intention. And exhale. One more full centering breath in here. And out. Good. And now I invite you to keep your hands at heart center for our closing, where I will sing the Longtime Sun song. If you're familiar with it, you're welcome to sing along or hum along, just kind of feeling this intention in your heart. And I hope that it carries you through the rest of your day. So when you're ready, let's inhale and begin. May the long time sun shine upon you. All the surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way. On. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Satnam, Namaste. Thank you all so much. <laughs>